Speaking of former ambassadors, Christopher Landau's predecessor, Roberto Jacobson, was appointed last week to serve as a coordinator for the southwestern border on the U.S. National Security Council in the Biden administration and will focus on asylum, immigration, and other issues involving Mexico. For more on this, we go to Gringo Show contributor, the lovely Martha Smith, to discuss this new appointment. Martha, how are you? I'm so glad to have you on. It's such a pleasure. It's great to be here with you. Thank you for the invitation. No, of course. Martha, uh, tell us uh, more about this. Uh, you have worked extensively with the ambassador. Um, tell me about the experience she brings to the table in this new role. And tell us a little bit more about this role. Yes, well, of course, uh, she, as you know, Dan, uh, before coming to Mexico as ambassador from the United States to Mexico in 2016, was a career diplomat for many years at, with the State Department and was previously the Assistant Secretary for Western Hemisphere Affairs. So she really knows the issues. She knows the issues between the United States and Mexico. And I can't think of a better person uh, for this new role that she's been appointed to. And we're happy to see her uh, named, uh, I think particularly because she has so many people who respect and love her in Mexico and in the United States. So. So we're really looking forward to seeing Roberta back in, 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 in the business of the U.S.-Mexico relations. Absolutely. And then that, that's an interesting point that she has a lot of friends in Mexico as well as the U.S. And it seems like she's going to be bringing a lot of perspective, not just from the American perspective, but also from the Mexican perspective, which is so important in these types of issues that are affecting her. Uh, tell me more about the, uh, what you think about the future of this asylum um, uh, situation is with uh, Ambassador Jacobson in the role because during the Trump administration there was an incredible amount of news about it uh, and seems like things weren't uh, going the way that people would want it to go. So what do you think is going to change during this administration? Well, the Biden administration has already announced that it will give uh, importance to bringing back to the floor of the House of Representatives and the Senate a bill uh, to incorporate comprehensive immigration reform. Um, and we're looking forward to seeing how that may play out. It's not easy. Uh, it's been tried before. But uh, within that question that you've just asked about asylum, uh, I think that there will be changes certainly to the asylum process, but it may take time uh, before the Biden administration can roll back so many of the changes that the Trump administration made to the asylum process. But we're hopeful and we do know that there will be a greater respect for human rights, uh, I think, on the border. We won't see any more of children getting separated from their families and so forth. Yeah, what, what a tragedy of some of those things that happened in the last four years. And it's nice that we see new leadership coming in there. Also, an, another announcement, Martha, uh, Alex Padilla uh, was appointed to Kamala Harris's Senate seat. The vice president uh, gave up her seat, of course, and uh, he is an, uh, a child of Mexican immigrants from Guadalajara and from Chihuahua. What an what a incredible thing uh, that has happened. It's the first uh, Latino senator from California. That's correct, Dan, and we're looking forward to seeing uh, him uh, in, in the Senate, and we're very excited to see a, a Latino, uh, and one from Mexico, for that matter, uh, in, that, in that seat. So uh, lots of exciting things are happening. Absolutely. Martha Smith, thank you so much for coming on. I know we're going to be doing some really great things uh, in the future with some future projects, so uh, we'll see you again soon on there. Martha Smith, uh, Pinterest Show Correspondent, thank you so much.